Hey everybody, Andy here with City Pro Services. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for visiting the channel. And uh, if you're not a subscriber here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you are, good morning and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to work on a small landscaping job. Basically, uh, we're going to install some Japanese blood grasses and put a little mulch in after we're done. This is going to be part one of part two. We're eventually going to put in a, uh, a stone walkway. Stay with us. So basically, we got two driveways here. One driveway on this side and one driveway on this side. So the homeowner wants to come from right here and bring a stone walkway and come right on down through here and come right over to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig this side out and landscape it a little bit and uh, get it ready for the stone patio. So stay tuned. We're going to get started just shortly. The tools we're going to be using today will be this bed edger. It's got a five horse Honda on it, does a really good job. That'll define the bed and uh, cut down deep and put a nice deep bed edge. We'll also be using a Ryan sod cutter. It's got a seven horse Briggs and Stratton on it. It'll do a good job of clean up. We'll be using a Maddox. We'll be using a hard rake, a pitchfork, a refugee hook, a square point shovel and a round point shovel. We'll use an FS131 steel line trimmer with an edge attachment on it. Uh, if needed, we'll use this uh, steel BS or BG96 uh, blower. I've got two empty wheelbarrows for debris. I've got three wheelbarrows full of triple process black dyed mulch. I've got a pound or so of triple 14 by Anderson time release fertilizer. That'd be this stuff right here. I have Canadian peat that I also use. That'd be this stuff. The Japanese blood grass we're going to install today will be these guys right here. Real nice stuff. So let's get started. All right, everybody. Got these uh, Japanese blood grasses installed and some mulch around them. Right here is where the stone path will start and go right on through here. It'll wrap around this front bed and go right over to there. On this side will continue to be a bed. Probably some more plants. But uh, as you can see, it goes pretty fast. Use the bed edger, cut in a nice clean edge. Use the edge to clean that up. Use the sod cutter to get the sod out, which quite a bit here. One, two, three, four, five wheelbarrows plumb full of sod. We'll turn that back into compost and use it as compost next year. But everything went smooth. Stay tuned in a future. Uh, We'll get that stone pad put in, that walkway, and that'll look real nice. But there's the, the blood grass. They'll fill in real nice in this corner. 
that's about as tall as blood grass gets so they, they'll get thicker but they won't get taller so stay tuned thanks for joining me don't forget to subscribe